Hi folks, beautiful day in the park, uh, time for a coffee and today we're going to be making an espresso, double espresso, using the Wakeko Nano Presso. Um, this is a portable or a manual espresso machine and this is the barista kit that I've got with it as well. So what I'm going to be doing is doing a quick little review of uh, how to make an espresso on the go. Uh, this is a recent addition to my camping gear and um, I'll show you how it works. The Nano Presso comes in a nice little case here, hard case, uh, and the barista kit is all self-contained there. There are all the parts. On the left, we've got the Nano Presso taken apart. Uh, this is the main body here, that's a plunger. And uh, this is the water reservoir. That's the top of it. Comes with a scoop, cleaning brush, and an espresso cup for putting in your coffee. The barista kit takes everything on a whole new level. Uh, right now, you can see this here is the cup. That's the water reservoir, so it comes with a cup. This one doesn't. This here is just something to hold the the uh, tamper, coffee tamper. This is a ring that you need to use with the Nano Presso um, to get the extended uh, depth so that you can put one of these deep double espresso uh, reservoirs inside. So it comes with two double espresso reservoirs. I've got a little blue sticky tape, uh, masking tape on the top to show that it's decaf, decaf. And uh, it's got a regular. They come with cups, so uh, with covers, so you can put the coffee in them and bring them with you. That's the tamper, and that's the cover of the barista kit. So here we're ready for uh, making our coffee. Uh, water is just about boiled. This here is how you want the uh, coffee grounds to look. It's got to be tamped down, so you use the the tamping uh, the tamper to just tamp down here. And I've seen one person say uh, you've got to use 30 pounds of pressure to put the right tamping on that. So I don't know, but you want to keep a little bit of a gap there at the top because as you can see, this part here fits inside there. So this is what goes on top of that. So let's go put that together and wait for the water to boil. There it is sitting at the top of the Nano Presso. And then we just screw this on the top. Today I'm going to be using this double espresso, uh, double wall glass, uh, glass mug. Uh, great, great mug. It's about uh, six, six ounces, uh, five and a half ounces, I believe. And I'm going to add a little bit of sweetener and a, and a mini mousse uh, coffee creamer. I like to put that in before I make the, uh, the espresso. Great, water is boiled. And uh, we've got our creamer inside the glass. We've got a reservoir. We just pour the water inside the reservoir up until it reaches the line at the top. I don't know if you can see that, but the line at the top is the limit of where you want to put the water. If you put any more water in there, it'll overflow when you screw this on like this. Okay. Now you flip this over and you start pumping. The first few pumps is going to get the pressure inside of the uh, Nano Presso and then it starts to come out. And then you want to pump slowly, about one pump every second. This is the rate of pumping. Using the Nano Presso, you can have your coffee anywhere you are. You can have your coffee at uh, while you're camping, while you're out for a ride, anywhere. No electricity needed. Look at that. Nice crema at the top as well. The fresher that you grind uh, your beans, uh, the better the crema. Also, it varies with the uh, with the, the fineness of the grind, I believe. But anyway, so when it gets down to no pressure in the in the plunger, then you just screw it in like that, quarter turn, and you lock it off. 
give it a little bit of a stir and that's the finished product there's a nice bit of crema there even though after I've started it still got some crema and um, this is a delicious cup of decaf coffee that I brought with me in my uh, container inside the barista kit cheers that is delicious Mmm, it's a little bit too sweet with that sweetener, but uh, <laughs> but you have a great cup. Uh, this is a double espresso. It's decaf. You buy a good decaf bean, you get a full, 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 full body flavor, just like regular coffee. And um, I, I like to use French roast. It's a dark roast and uh, a robust flavor. So that's what this is. Beautiful. And uh, at this volume here, you don't have that much coffee to, to drink before it starts to get cold. Um, the double wall in this, in this uh, cup uh, keeps the insulation uh, in so that the outside is, is cool to the touch and there is some insulation so heat loss is only really through the top. Look at all that crema <laughs> all along the sides of this of this coffee. It's almost done. I'm down to my last few sips and uh, what a delicious cup of coffee. I've got uh, the nano presser laid out there just to show you when I start cleaning up. Clean up the simple. Look at this. See, if I had a sink, of course, it'll be much easier, but I'm doing this in the park and I believe that I've got spectators. So if you look at this, I just rinsed that out. Look at that. Perfect. And then this piece. I just put some water in there and it's all clean. Then I just got to get rid of this. So, there you have it. This is clean. This is clean. Now, every few, uh, I don't know, maybe 20, 20 cups of uh, espresso, you want to take this apart. And to take this apart, you just push this here, like this, and this comes out. When this comes out, you give inside here a good rinse. There might be a few grounds in there. And then you just rinse off this gasket here and push it back in. That's it. It's as simple as that. You could remove this part here and take this apart and there's a little spring, a spring mechanism inside there that you get back. But that's it. It's very simple. I'm not going to do that in this video. But uh, just to show you what you can do if you ever run into any trouble. So since I've got this apart, I'm going to just rinse it off with my... Uh, I got some water in my Nalgene here. I'm going to just rinse this off inside this cup. Like that. Can you see that? <laughs> rinse that off. We'll rinse this off in here. Drown it a little bit. <laughs> okay. And again, I dump this. So that's it. So we just dry all of this stuff and assemble it back together and we're done. Hope you enjoyed the review of the Wakeko Nanopresso and the Barista Kit. Uh, this is a real world review. I usually do real world reviews. Uh, nothing staged, no BS. So this is it straight up. This kit has been the best piece of gear that I have added to my, uh, to my camping setup in a long time. So much so that I use this thing daily at home. Um, I make, I've been drinking more coffee now as a result of this uh, uh, Nanopresso and um, enjoying it. I even went out and bought a set of these cups here, all for drinking at home because I'm not going to use this when I go camping. I'm going to use my Yeti uh, Rambler Lowball cup uh, to make an Americano. To make an Americano, you make a double espresso just like I did today and you just add more water to your taste. That's it.
uh, cream and sugar if you want it and you have a perfect Americano to be honest the real reason why I bought this thing is so that I can get a really good cup of coffee when I'm camping uh, Americano especially not so much espresso but since I got this and I started drinking espressos it's like oh I'm hooked on espressos now but I still drink uh, Americanos most often so I hope you like this video if you if you do please consider subscribing I do a lot of videos on all the gear that I buy this is not sponsored in any way uh, I bought this I bought the uh, and I'm gonna put links in the description below I bought the uh, Nanopresso and the Brist kit with my own money uh, bought it off Amazon and I've been happy with it so nobody's paying me for a review here what you see is what you get